They said, do you still want a police officer? And I said, yes. And they said, are you following him? Oh, I'm sorry, back there, they said, are you following him? And I said, yes, because I was, you know, in the area. Right. And they said, we don't need you to do that. And I said, okay. So I, that's when I walked straight through here to get the address so that I could meet the police officer. And then they said, uh, I said, he's not here. They said, do you still want him to come? And I said, yes. And they said, where do you want him to come to? And I said, you know what, just tell him to meet me at my truck. Dude. I passed here, I looked, I didn't see anything again, and I was walking back to my truck. And then when I got to right about here, he yelled from behind me to the side of me. He said, yo, you got a problem? And I turned around, and I said, no, I don't have a problem, man. Where, and he, where was he at? About? He was about there, but he was walking towards me. Okay, so he's coming from this direction here. Yes, sir. I believe, Like I said, I was already past that, so I didn't see exactly where he came from. But he was about where you were. Okay. And I said, no, I don't have a problem. And I went to go grab my cell phone, but my I left it in a different pocket. And I went, I looked down at my pant pocket, and he said, you got a problem now. And then he was here, and he punched me in the face. Right here? Right as far. Up around here. Okay. To be honest, That's fine. I don't remember exactly. That's fine. Um, I think I stumbled, and I... I fell down, he pushed me down, somehow he got on top of me. On the grass or on the snow? It was over, more over towards here. I think I was trying to push him away from me, and then he got on top of me somewhere around here. And uh, that's when I started screaming for help. I started screaming, help, help, as loud as I could. And... Uh, then is when he grabbed me. Oh, I, I tried to sit up, and that's when he grabbed me by the head and tried to slam my head down. And were you on the, I guess were you on the cement? Or you on the no, my body was on the grass. My head was on the cement. You can't see your best the face on this one. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, that's as best as I could feel through my jacket. Mm-hmm. Was I felt like my body was on the grass and my head was on the cement, and he just kept slamming and slamming. And uh, I, just, I kept yelling, help, help. Put his hand on his nose, no, on my nose, and his other hand on my mouth. He said, "Shut the f- up." And uh, then I tried squirming again because all I could think about was when he was hitting my head against. It felt like my head was going to explode, and I thought I was going to lose consciousness. So I tried to squirm so that I could get because he he only had a small portion of my head on the concrete. So I tried to squirm off the concrete, and when I did that. Somebody here opened the door, and I said, help me, help me. And they said, I'll call 911. I said, no, help me. I need help. And I don't know what they did, but uh, that's when my jacket had moved up, and I had my, my firearm on my right side hit. My jacket moved up, and he saw it. I feel like he saw it. He looked at it, and he said, you're going to die tonight, mother- and he reached for it, but he reached, like, I felt his arm going down to my side, and I grabbed it, and I just grabbed my firearm, and I shot him one time. 